welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bianca and I usually film sewing and DIY videos. So if you are interested in seeing more of those, make sure you subscribe to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this baby sleeping bag. It is a summer sleeping bag for my 9th month old son. So I've used lighter and breathable materials, but you can customize it anytime if you want to make a sleeping bag for the winter time. The pattern that I've used is by a small dream company. It is a free pattern and I will link it down below. Since the pattern was a bit small for my son, I decided to customize it a little. So I elongated it at the bottom and made it a bit bigger so it fits my 9th month old son. I hope you enjoyed this video, so let's get started. First things first, the fabrics. For my baby sleeping bag, I am using a muslin cloth for my outer fabric and a softer cotton fabric for the lining. You will also need some bias tape, a matching thread, some fabric scissors, some pins, a measuring tape and a zipper. Now pin the pattern to your fabric and cut out two front pieces and one back piece from your outer fabric and from the lining. Make sure you add about 1 cm seam allowance, excluding the neckline, the shoulder seams and the armholes. Then place the front pieces facing down on top of the back piece and pin them at the shoulder seam. Repeat with the fabric you will use as your lining. Now sew the front pieces and the back pieces together at the shoulder using a straight stitch. Before moving on with the next step, you will need your zipper. Place it on top of your sleeping bag and use a pencil to make a mark where your zipper ends. Make sure you leave some seam allowance at the top of the zipper as well. Then repeat on your other piece of fabric. Now pinch your fabric and pin it together, starting from the bottom of your sleeping bag, going up until you reach the mark you just drew. The fabric you are pinning together right now is the seam allowance, so if you left 1 cm seam allowance, this part will be 1 cm wide. Sew it using a straight stitch, then pin your sleeping bag all the way around, starting from one underarm until you reach the other one. Do the same for the lining and sew everything using a straight stitch. Now turn your pieces inside out and place the lining inside. To make it easier you can use some pins to attach the pieces at the shoulder. Now you'll need to add the bias tape to the armholes. Make sure everything is lined properly and use some wonder clips or some pins to pin everything together. Before adding the bias tape though I am going to sew all the way around the armhole just to secure it in place. Since I couldn't find any bias tape in the desired color at the fabric store, I decided to make one myself using this cotton ribbon that is slightly stretchy. So I've used my iron to fold both edges inwards. I would suggest here if possible to use an actual bias tape or if you want to make one yourself, you can just cut the fabric on the bias. I've learned this the hard way, although I thought this ribbon is stretchy enough to make a good bias tape, it didn't lay as nicely as I thought it would. And it is really important to use actual bias tape on necklines and armhole seams. To add the bias tape you will need to place your fabric and your bias tape right face together. Sew a straight stitch along the fold, then fold it over, pin it in place, then sew it all the way around using a straight stitch and a matching thread. Then repeat for the other armhole. Out of some leftover fabric I'm creating a zipper cover. For this you'll need to cut out two semicircles. Sew them together right sides facing each other. Turn it around and fold it in half. When adding the zipper I will suggest you start at the bottom. Simply fold both edges of the fabric inwards and sandwich the zipper in between. Pin everything in place and don't forget to add the zipper cover at the end. I 
I'm going to quickly show you how to add the zipper cover. First fold the lining fabric as you did up until this point. Place the zipper cover with the rounded edge facing inwards. Fold it over the zipper. If the zipper is too long you will need to fold it as well. Then place the other fabric with its edge folded inwards on top. To make it easier you could use an iron to fold the edges of your fabrics inwards before adding the zipper. Now sew your zipper using a straight stitch and then you'll need to add the bias tape on the neckline. I am first going to sew all the way around the neckline just to secure everything in place before adding the bias tape. Then you'll basically need to do the same thing as you did for the armholes and don't forget to fold the bias tape at the ends before sewing it so that its raw edge doesn't show. And this is the finished product. As I've said earlier, I think it would have looked even better if I've used a bias tape instead of a regular ribbon, but I'm sure my baby will not notice. And my advice to you besides using bias tape would be to not be as hard on yourself if your project doesn't turn out perfect, especially if we're talking about something like this. It's made with love and I'm sure your baby or the person you give it to will enjoy it and love it. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it if you did. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one, bye!